So having been in the world of CNC uh, this week, I resurrected some parts that were on my shelf. So check this out. This is the old PrinterBot CNC. And some of you may remember this. Um, I took it to some shows. I sold a few. Not very many. Really, I missed the, I, I've gone over this in weeks past, so I won't belabor it. Um, this runs on belts, on X and Y, <laughs> and then it runs on dual lead screws on Z, so it goes up and down. It's kind of an interesting design because when you, when you roll it down all the way to the bed where it's cutting its material, you can kind of see the, the bars are here. And uh, the bars are behind here. There's four bars for Z and two lead screws. They're NEMA 23 motors, so it's pretty powerful, um, but it does have belts in it. So it was strong enough to, you could slowly, you could cut aluminum with this. Now, that's true of a lot of CNC routers designed for wood. So it's not really that big of a deal. But CNC routers designed for wood typically have uh, rigidity issues until uh, when it gets down into the material deeply. So this actually is most rigid when it's at the deepest point. And it's technically least rigid um, at the highest point. But it's, it's only like three and a half or four inches, I forget. I think with your bit, it really restricts that. So there might only be three inches of travel on this. I, I forget. It's probably in the, <laughs> in the specs. But the point is, um, this uses really beefy rails, not uh, Delrin wheels on extruded aluminum, which I think is cheesy. And it's what uh, some of the beginning CNC uh, routers like. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Inventable sells it. Uh, X-Carve. X-Carve. It's just cheesy. Um, no offense to Inventables. But that is not a CNC that could ever hope to cut metal at any speed. Um, that's respectable. So this one is better than that because it's all linear rails, really thick rails and carriages. Um, it's, I uh, forget the belt, XT belt. Um, so it's, it's a timing belt. So it's definitely rigid enough um, to cut faster than an X-carve. I mean, this thing is a tank. It weighs a lot. So why is it on the table? Well, I'm not selling this as an assembled version. I have, what did I say? I had 15, somewhere around 15 of these left. And I got out my parts and I noticed, well, I don't have the bars anymore. I've kind of eaten those up to do other things like the prosthetic printers. Um, I don't have carriages to spare um, in stock right now. Uh, so I thought, you know what, those are, those are available. If I sold this kit with everything needed to start cutting, the extrusion here, I use the Faztec extrusion. You know I like that stuff. It's off Amazon. Um, it would, I would have to mark it up to make a profit on what I'm buying. You can buy that extrusion yourself. You can buy these rails yourself. Now, this, these rails, you need a grinding wheel to cut them. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put together a bare bones kit for this. I've already done it. Dave's helped me. Um, so we actually have a product. Is it online? It is available. It's only going to be 15 or 16 bare bones PrinterBot CNC kits. And it does not come with the Faztec extrusion. You can save yourself money by ordering that yourself and cutting it with a chop saw. Uh, you cut it very slowly, uh, but you can cut aluminum with a regular wood blade. So you can cut those down to length. And by the way, uh, I've limited the Y on this to whatever this is. Um, but you can order bar. Uh, you can order your own bar and carriages. And we'll put details of what bar and carriages these are. Um, I recommend Highwind. They're really good. Um, in fact, this is like a Chinese supplier. Highwind is actually better than these I have on here. Uh, these sometimes are good, and sometimes you get a carriage that's bad, and you've got to throw it out. But anyway, the point is uh, this 15-millimeter bar, um, and I'll, I'll tell you the – we'll have to put that in the notes, Dave. I forget the exact model number of the Highwind rail. It's the same stuff that's on the Z on the, the uh, prosthetic. But anyway, uh, or the plus uh, pro. Anyway, so uh, you can order your own rail and get a stock length and just cut your extrusion to that stock length because this Y is totally 
whatever you want it to be. And we will give you the plates. We're going to water jet some plates because I'm short on plates. But when people order, I'll cut the plates. And then I have all this nice powder coated parts. I have all of the uh, you know little bits to put together the the roller bearings and all this stuff um, to get all this moving. And I have the boards, so I have everything but extrusion, rails, carriages, router. So that's what you're going to have to source yourself. Now this is set up for a. I think we were selling a Bosch router with the Crawlbot. Do you remember, Dave? If you look on the Crawlbot page, you can see the router that we use. These are mounting holes for that router. But since you probably have a 3D printer, you could do an adapter plate that bolts right up to this. and Or just drill this out. Um, it's just aluminum, this carriage here. And you can have your own router. Now, it's $499. So these parts actually cost more than $499. <laughs> All of the parts that you're going to get actually cost more to make than $499. But I want to clear the plate get rid of that one pallet on my shelf that has these parts that are just sitting there. And we were selling it for, I don't know, 1500 or something. I don't remember. Um, but uh, if you're interested in a very solid CNC, that Adoptabot CNC, um, while $99 is going to require a lot of work, this is going to require less work and be a better machine right out of the gate. But really, the way we built this isn't commercially viable. It's overbuilt for the market that I need to hit. So if you're interested in getting into CNC, didn't know what CNC to buy, for $500, this is a freaking steal. steal. Now i got to get it off the table. <laughs>